Okay. This is our Linowit showing off our project. Uh, it looks like a, a mess right now, but I'll explain. Over here, we have what will be our start screen. Trust me, it'll be it'll be fancy. It'll be sleek looking. Uh, right now, it's just a post-it note, but it introduces the idea, which is what it what does it mean to be a Tar Heel? Which is the question we're asking the students to answer with our application. Uh, at the beginning, we're going to ask them to write down what they think a Tar Heel is and where they think the name came from. Like the post-it note says, we expect a lot of the answers to assume it comes from the basketball team. And then we are going to pretty much let them loose on the application so they have to discover the idea for themselves. Uh, we'll have a timeline that has different places where the students can click. And when they click on it, these will bring up things like multimedia. You know, we have videos that we can play for the students. And they will be able to view videos and things. After the video, we'll have it ask them questions. So we can either make sure they're watching it or just, uh, you know, use those questions as a primer, maybe. So it's not really about whether they're answering the questions correctly, but by reading and thinking about the question, it might help them uh, solidify what they think their answer is. Uh, after they look at the different things when they click on them, they will be able to check a box if this supports their hypothesis or doesn't support their hypothesis. And as they do so, it'll fill up the timeline with red or green marks showing them whether or not it works for them. Uh, the timeline's going to go only from the 1800s to present day. Uh, the word hasn't been in use that much since before then um at the end when they will be finished with the timeline and they will have marked the things that they want to use and the things they don't want to use we're going to ask them to engage in a message board like thing but it's inside of our application and so there'll be classmates answers and replies to them similar to the message boards we've all known and loved in doing online classes uh the difference being when they click on a classmate's answer, they'll see the green and red things change so they can see which things their classmates are using to support their answer. And it might be neat to see the discussion they have about it. Uh, after they read and comment on each other's, they are going to be prompted again at the end to update or basically ask if they changed their mind and why they changed their mind. And uh, all of this we can dump out into a Google Doc, so they'll have some artifact of it afterwards, and the teacher will be able to go through it all. 